Good morning, Facebook Live and Jocelyn fans. I'm Rebecca, the program director for the Jocelyn Center, and I got it right yesterday. I think I said it was episode 86 yesterday, which makes it episode 87 of the Jocelyn Variety Show today. So welcome. We are doing our Take 20 with Veronica. So I hope you are ready for about 20 minutes of light exercises and stretching. Make sure you've got some good, safe, supportive shoes on and, um, and no chair today. Have one handy. Have your chair handy, just so that when we get to that part of the exercises, you'll have it nearby and you can grab it. Um, and we're gonna do that today, and then um, and then it'll be the best kickoff to the Thursday. Or if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, a great start to your day, a great finish to your day. Uh, whatever time you're watching this, um, any exercise, any time of day, is a great way to get your brain going, keep your body active, so that when we reopen here at the Jocelyn Center, you'll be able to come back full force and join in all of those classes that I know that you miss because I miss them too. Um, so let's get our bodies moving with Veronica. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, I wanna put my chair handy. Okay, so let's start marching high, everyone. Let's start marching in place, get ourselves moving. Okay, so it's gonna be good. Today we're gonna to work our abdominals. One of the things that, uh, that's one muscle group that you can work every day. You don't have to give it a, a minimum amount of uh, rest, like, like two days. You can do your abs every day. And if you do, then congratulations. <laughs> You're one of the few people I know that would do that. Five minutes a day. But today we're gonna to focus on our abdominals because it's really, really important Keep a level of strength in your abdominals because they are what provides stability in your stance and your movement. Okay, let's tap our heels forward. So you just you want them to be strong enough that you can feel them, and when you engage them, you feel that. A lot of times, uh, you would automatically engage them in response to something. You may not even be aware of yourself doing that, but when you feel strong in your core, somehow. Everything just seems a little bit more manageable. It is good to feel strong. Okay, let's tap side to side. Just reach out and out, out. So our feet are about hip width apart and we're just tapping to the side, reaching, just the lower body. Keep your breath flowing in and out. Good. Okay, now we're gonna step side to side, step and back, step and back. I'm looking behind you because I don't wanna kick our background. But I'm going to, now we're gonna start pulling our arms back as we step side to side. And as we're doing this, we're squeezing our back muscles towards each other and squeezing your shoulder blades towards each other. Now let's bring in a hamstring curl. So you're gonna kick back, kick back, kick back. I'm always saying how all of our movements are very controlled, and they really have to be because you don't want to ever throw your arm out or throw your leg out because you want to protect your joint. So everything's controlled. So you stop it at a point before you might hyperextend uh, your joint. So as you're kicking behind and doing a hamstring curl, you are kicking towards your, your, your glutes without really focusing on trying to, to kick yourself because you might hyperextend your, uh, not hyperextend, but you might be uh, putting unnecessary stress on your joint. So control that kick. And the, re the hamstring muscles are squeezing and that is what's lifting that leg up. Okay, so every time you lift your leg up, you're squeezing your hamstrings. Okay. All right, let's just take a, a few inhales. Reach up, inhale. Nice deep inhale and exhale when you're ready. You can go slower than I'm doing or you need to go a little bit quicker too, that's fine. Inhale and exhale. Try to exhale everything out. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach up and exhale. Okay, so we, we moved our legs a, a bit 
And let's just take a moment with our chair that we've kept handy and stretch the hamstrings all the way down, all the way up to the lower back. We haven't done the stretch in a while. Your body's gonna be at about a 90 degree angle. Keep your abdominals in. Okay, so you're straightening your legs, but you don't push your joints back. Keep them forward a little bit. Okay, so your, your, joint, your joints are actually soft. Now, just relax into the stretch. And you can make little adjustments. Maybe your feet are a little, bring them further apart or closer together. And what does it feel like if you could flatten your back just a little bit more? You're gonna feel that stretch really come up into your lower back. And keep breathing in and out. And just relax. Good. Okay. Now it's time to come up. Come up safely out of that stretch. There's no right or wrong way to come out, out of that stretch. You just want to take your time to come back up. Okay. All right. Let's take our arms out and let's do some circles. We're just going to fatigue the arms a little bit. Part of our warm up, part of our exercise too. Then we'll get into our abdominals. And we're gonna do our abdominal work standing up today. But we'll have the chair handy too because it's a good idea to have a chair or countertop next to you. Okay, so we're circling the arms forward. And remember your shoulders are back and down. They're always back and down. Arms out, okay. Let's circle back. And your feet are probably a little wider than hip width little softness in your knees. So you're gripping on the floor. So you've got your toes inside your shoes or out of shoes, actually gripping onto the floor. And your muscles in your legs are engaged. You've got that strong foundation down here. Okay, let's make big circles. If your arms get tired and you want to rest them, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, keep it going. Good, and forward. This is one of those exercises you can do while you're watching a commercial on TV or just wanna get up and walk around. You can work your arms at the same time. Okay, now palms up. And imagine you've got some weight in your palms. Now we're going to lift up and lower. Up. So your movement is up. Like you're lifting some weight. Or suddenly the air got really thick and you have to push it up. Okay, palms down. Let's push that weight down. Push. So you're really creating a response in your muscles here. So you're engaging those muscles to push down the weight, creating resistance. You create your own resistance, you're adding to your workout. Okay, we're gonna bring the, the movement forward now. Really push through that, that weight you're pushing forward. There's something there, you gotta push it forward. So you're gonna feel it, not only in your arms, but you're gonna feel it across your chest if you're really pushing. Keep breathing. Let's push it back. Okay, and push, push. And here, since we're pushing back, we, are, we have all of the muscles in your arms engaged, but you also can feel the muscles in the back squeezing towards each other squeezing toward the center of your back. Good. Okay, one more, let's push up. Just push up. Two, let's do five. Three, up, up. Now just take the arms up, and now we're gonna pull down. Again, right here, you're not, uh, you're not bringing your shoulders up, keep them down. Go reach up. And now pull that weight down and pull it down. You've all used machines or uh, maybe bands and pull that down. 
and feel that all those big muscles in your back just squeeze those muscles and one and then one more and just relax okay all right so we had a good warm-up in our lower body good warm-up in our arms but that also involved our upper body muscles too okay let's do some standing abdominal exercises and remember when we go side to side think about bringing your shoulder towards your knee we're not literally going to bring our shoulder towards our knee just bring it in that direction and your elbow is just along for the right okay so we're going to take a stance wider than your hips and adjust as you need to, because you'll find uh, whatever, however your balance is, adjust your stance, and this is going to be our move. You have your hand up, just resting on your shoulder. Looks like it's gonna be on the back of the head, but we don't need to put it there. We'll just put it up on our shoulder, and you're gonna bring your knee, your knee up, and bring your shoulder toward that knee. So you can see where my weight is. My weight's on this foot. I'm balancing on this foot, and I'm only, tapping the toe down. So I still have my weight shifted to this leg, tapping down. And every time you bring that leg up, you're squeezing your abdominals to bring that knee up, elbow to knee. Okay, get in that, the balance and the rhythm. Let's do eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's shift to the other side. Ready? Let's do a couple practice. Just to get the balance on the other leg. And let's go eight. Eight, seven. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to the first side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shift, other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to the other side. Now let's try, if you're, make sure you've got a countertop or a chair, we're gonna try and do some without putting the foot on the floor and just see how many you can do. It's between you and yourself. Okay, so we'll start out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And your balance is better on one side of your body than the other, so, uh, it's just fun to see how many you can do without putting the, the, your toe down. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna keep going back and forth. So we're doing our, our abdominal muscles here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, that's good. All right, let's just relax for just a moment. Okay. That's good, that really gets you warmed up too. So we got some aerobic activity going. We've been working on our, our specific muscle groups. Okay. In fact, why don't we stretch a little bit? Let's stretch up, reach up, stretching our sides here. Just relax. Breathe in and out, of course. And reach over. And remember your stretch is starting from down here. Reach and just lean into that stretch a little bit. Let's do some more. Let's do some more. Same, uh, same technique. And um, again, you're shifting your weight. So we're giving this leg some, some work as well, right? We're not just doing our abdominals. We're exercising this leg. Um, so your leg will get fatigued if you want to shift to the other leg. You just go ahead. I'll just keep counting eight and eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
five, four, three, two, and one, eight, seven, squeeze, squeeze, four, three, two, and one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, eight, seven, six, five, four. If you're not touching the floor, uh, just stay safe. So if you start to wobble, put that toe down. <laughs> put that toe down and catch yourself. Let's do a couple more. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more set on this side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, so let's rest, let's cool down by doing another exercise. So you wanna have your plie stance. You've got your feet out about 45 degrees. You're gonna bend, you're going straight down. Okay, so listen to your knees. How do your knees feel? Are they both feeling good? Is one a little, um, maybe talking to you a little bit? Just go as far as both of your knees are happy, okay? As far as they're comfortable and no pain. And now when you come up, you really wanna squeeze your legs and your glutes. Up and squeeze up, squeeze up. Getting some uh, work in our legs. We've been fatiguing those muscles. And now we're focusing on them, including your glutes. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep going. Now your exhale, when are you, when are you exhaling? Exhaling up. So inhale down, exhale up. Same as a squat. So you're going to exert yourself by standing up. And that's what we're doing here. So that's where we exhale. Exhale. Let's do a few more. Squeeze. Sometimes with this exercise, it takes, it takes a fair amount of uh, repetition until you start to feel like those muscles are starting to fatigue. So depending on where you are, uh, just listen to, oh, do you need to do more? Maybe when, when we finish, maybe you'll continue with these a little bit longer. Okay, and these, this is a good exercise too because you don't need any weights. Sometimes when people do this exercise, they, they hold on to dumbbells for added weight, but you don't need to. Just get your squeeze as, as tight as you can you will benefit. Okay. All right, that is really good. Okay, so let's march out, loosen up, just relax your shoulders. And let's stretch our, uh, stretch our quadriceps. You to push your hip forward a little bit to get those hip flexor muscles. There's a whole group of them in there that um, whose job it is to keep you moving along. Okay, if those ever tighten up as you're walking, you will know immediately. So you always want to keep them gently stretched. Okay. That is good. All right. Well, I hope that you feel good. I hope that you are um, breathing as hard as I am, <laughs> but you're cooled down now. So have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Veronica. All right, everybody, it is Thursday, which means tomorrow is Kitten Friday. So I hope that you will join us for the variety show tomorrow at 11 o'clock because you get to see my foster kittens, and this might be the last week with them. They are just about at weight, so don't miss this just in case it's goodbye. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic Thursday. Uh, stay safe out there.